Hello, my name is Bill Knight. I'm the production CAD manager for Freeman Audiovisual Solutions based in Dallas, Texas. Freeman Audiovisual is a full service AV provider serving the trade show and meetings and conventions industry worldwide. We have about 135 users across the company and I'm responsible for taking care of their technical support needs as, as far as VectorWorks is concerned. As a part of that process, I am also one of the beta testers for VectorWorks 2013 and have been asked to talk to you today about my favorite feature of the upcoming 2013 release. Uh, while there are a number of useful new features coming up in 2013 that will benefit both the event planner and the entertainment professional, I'm going to talk to you today about Create Detail Viewport. The new Create Detail Viewport command provides an extremely efficient way to automatically create cropped viewports, allowing for better navigation between detailed views and the model. This improvement gives you detailed views of plans, elevations, and sections with markers that automatically reference and coordinate to your viewport's drawing and sheet numbers. Let's take a quick look at practical example here. We have an upcoming plenary session event for about 5,000 people. In this case, we've already created one detail viewport that shows the overall layout of the space. And now we're going to create another detail viewport that is going to show us the green room space. So using the usual viewport creation technique, we will create a rectangle that we want to show around the space. and we will utilize the view command. Instead of creating a viewport, we will create a detail viewport. Our dialog box gives us a number of options. Uh, in this case, we will give our new viewport the drawing title Green Room Detail, and we'll make that fairly small. So we'll go ahead and make that a 32nd inch scale. And here's our new detail viewport within the context of the larger drawing. So we'll simply grab our new viewport, drag it down here into some available space on the overall plan. Now if we zoom in and take a look, we have an automatic detail that shows our scale, our detail callout. We can now go to the object info and go directly to that detail callout in the design space. If we need to make a modification or change something, change the orientation of our green room text callout here. Now we simply select our new detail viewport. We can navigate back to the viewport and see the changes that we've made on the design layer. So there you have it, Create Detail Viewport, a great new feature that's going to make life easier for designers and event planners, and a great reason to look forward to Vectorworks 2013.